Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Never Ending Nightmares. Now, as I said last episode, I'm gonna get the last three endings because it's there. There should only be like not that long, but um, this is just a straight episode after the other one. So, as you can tell, hair still wet, kind of, and still same shirt. Praise the sun, by the way. Absolutely love that guy, Solaire. But yeah, to get to the next part, I need to drop this time. No, he's young. And apparently, depending on what I do at this part, affects the the ending. Well, the, the, the last two endings I can get, so... Maybe we get both of them in this episode, and maybe I make one more episode after this, and... You know, we go from there, who knows. So, considering this is a different ending, I'm still gonna assume that... The... The girl is my sister. I'm just gonna assume that one ending. That's how it ends, but this ending's gonna be completely different. We'll see anyway. Who knows, there might be a happy ending for Thomas at the end of this. That poor bunny plush, just getting dragged around by the ears. Right, I'm gonna follow the voice. I'm not gonna go through that door. I'm assuming that's just gonna take me to um, a random room I'm not interested in. Now, I don't remember which door I came in from. I'll never get that image on my head of when he just grinded his fingers. Okay, so yeah, we still are brother and sister. Okay, I think I just ended up back in my own room. Weird. Okay, I was just quickly looking. <laughs> Fucking hell. Wait. You've got to check out what I found. Follow me. Jesus Christ. I was looking at my phone reading. I didn't expect anything to happen there. Hey, sister. I hope whatever you're showing me isn't gonna be like a friggin' monster that's gonna kill me. Tommy, I'm Thomas. Oh wait, no, Tommy, Thomas. Makes sense. Is that what you want to show me? Luckily, I don't have triphobia, but I will have a warning for that. For that. A warning for that, for that. So apparently the way the both endings work is you're meant to like follow her to where she goes and then the other ending is don't follow her. Follow me. 
the, the developer definitely put Triphobia in just to get people. Alexander Bruce. I'm pretty sure I've read all these before, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna read these. Mugger White. I could do it for coffee. <laughs> God damn it, why are you gonna do that to me? My god, are you, do you not know that your brother's got friggin' asthma? Oh god. I bet she's faking. Maybe not. It's just the way she had like... Fuck. Just wish I had it in her chest like that. I was thinking in my head there, there ain't no way they would kill a kid, right? So if the monsters do come back, but then I remembered... Maybe like... Three minutes ago... This... This kid just got like, well Thomas got absolutely mauled in the darkness. By something. I truly hate this goddamn asylum. Did you? Oh god damn it really. Do I wanna see what happens if they kill me? Not really to be honest. Yeah, I found it anyway, I just I try I did try to open that door, I promise I did. I wasn't doing that just to see if they would kill us on screen. I always run when it comes to blind things and there's a door. Oop. Also, did any of you see the... If you're watching this, I hope... I don't know if you've seen, but I had a... I've got a community thing... on my channel... for recommendations for games to play, so... if there's any games you want me to play... or check them out... Um, I'll give them a go on camera. Because I'm wanting to branch off to like more games other than just horror games. Like I think I've only made like one, one game that's not horror and that was the Ark series but that's just gone now practically. Damn. I really like that, that's really cool. I thought that doll there was gonna friggin' jump on us, just the way it stood. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned in my first video, when I mentioned it. So I know I did mention it, but like, I don't know if I mentioned why I love the art style of this game. It reminds me so much of um, Junjito, which... Um, I absolutely love, like... God, don't listen to that, but right up here on my bookshelf, I've got like all of the Junjito books at the minute. Truly an amazing read. I can't wait to grab um, Stitches when it comes out and um, Alleyway. This, um, I think it's this year it comes out. Wait, no. Yeah, this is, well, yeah, it is this year, but it comes out in September. So we got a hell long way to wait for it, but I'm looking forward to it. 
Why are you looking at me like that friggin' emoji? You know the emoji. You know the one. I'm gonna put it on the face anyway. I knew it! I knew that doll was gonna move. I knew it, like, the first time I've seen it. I knew something wasn't right about it. For anyone wondering what my favourite Junji Ito book is, um, it's Uzumaki or Smashed. I like Smashed. I like the collection. Well, I like the story in Smashed, like that Pacific, that Pacific um, story. Like I know Smashed is a collection of like little stories, but. Smashed is my favourite in the entire collection of art. But I really need to reread them. But at the minute I'm reading um, Fazbear Fright. Hey, it's you little bitch. I'm reading Fazbear Fright. I'm on to book six at the minute, I think it is. I don't know why this is important to the video, <laughs> just talking about this, but it's something to talk about. Um, uh, I can't really, yep. Yeah. It's book six that I'm on. Halfway there. I've had the collection since like March last year, so. Wait, is it March now? Oh shit, it's, it's nearly finished March. I don't even like look at dates. But my god, it's been that long since I've had the since I've had that collection. God damn it! You are without a doubt the most annoying friggin' bastard in the entire game. You know, I'll put you on the same level as the Shame Legacy enemies for annoyance. And it's not the fact that, like... The fact that he keeps killing us, that's annoying. It's the way he kills us that I don't like. Like, dude just leaps out and bites us, like... Come on, like... So annoying. I'm gonna run. But even though you're a worthy contender to the Shim Legacy enemy, you're still better than them. Because they're friggin' voice lines. That's like the main thing I hate about them. That does move. Shook doll. What happens if they touch this, by the way? <laughs> Fuck. No hesitation to just pull them out. But yeah, the voice lines from Shim Legacy enemies really pissed me off. That's like the main reason I was so happy to get that game done. He's over here. I found him. We missed you, William. It's like, God, I hate them. God damn it. I was trying to see if my pop was cold still. 
So I'm pretty sure that baby, the one right here, is meant to represent the. The doll from a. Uh, well, not the doll, the um. The baby from. The other levels. Well, not the. Sorry, not the other levels, I'm getting confused again. So, I want to represent the big baby. Dining hall. Kitchen time. <laughs> oh, it's a meat cleaver. It's a meat cleaver. I was trying to say it for like my camera. Like the little the little smidge that is possible to say through the camera. Nice face design, really suits you. Also, speaking of books from earlier, I am actually working on my own book that I have been working on since 2022. I had the idea in 2021 of October, and then in 2022 I posted the idea on my Facebook, and then I got working on it. Um, I kept stopping. Sometimes, like for months on end, because like writer's block. But now I'm actually gonna finally finish it. I don't know why I never finished it as well, because like I was like so close to actually finishing the entire book. What the hell do you want me to do? So that was meant to happen. But yeah, I'm gonna go back through the like well, I'm basically remastering it at the minute. Like I'm rewriting it, having better ideas, like I'm tweaking a few things, like there was a fun fair in it. And Oh, that was really sweet. So that was that ending. Now he's got the other one to do. But I'll finish what I was saying about my book, then we'll do the outro. Um, there was a fun fair scene in the original where the guy went to the fun fair and he's seen a child going into a thing with a clown, which is meant to represent him, but I'm going to tweak it to where the narrative is actually the him at the fun fair and he's going to like revisit. Well, no, he's gonna. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. He's um, he's sat. Well, no, he's not sat. He's basically he goes to the fun fair and he's in his mind, but it's gonna actually be there for him. Like he's gonna be like a small child again, experiencing it. Why is it the fun fair? But the book is about a character called Jack who sees an entity that represents his depression because at the time I was going through really bad stuff well I was going through a really bad time so I decided to create a book to help us and it really did help us a lot but now I'm on tablets that help us even better
Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing it. And I'm hoping to actually get it published as my own little book that I can present to you guys. And um, if you want to read it, it's on Wattpad. I'll put up a picture right now of what it's called. Um, I'll be putting some chapters as I get them done. So that's all for this episode. And I hope you enjoy what you're seeing today. We've got one more ending, which is for the next episode. I was looking at the record time, this episode is 25 minutes long already. I don't want to make these too long, but I hope to see you in the next video that I do. And this is goodbye for now. Wait, no, that, was a, that was a bad engine. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next video that I do. This is goodbye. Goodbye!